Hi, it's Miss Becky here with your therapist tip of the day. Last week I talked to you about what a typically developing picky eater looks like when compared to a child who has more of a problem with feeding and who would benefit from feeding therapy. Today I'm here to give you some strategies or ideas for you to try at home to help overcome some of these picky eating behaviors. Right now would be a great time to try and implement them at home because we're home for meal time and preferred food items might not be as readily available in the grocery store right now. The first strategy I always give to families is to schedule your meal and snack times. Children thrive on routine and their bodies get used to eating at a certain time. If you can serve meals and snacks at the same time or the, generally at the same time each day, their body gets into a routine and they are hungry at those times. A child who's hungry is obviously more willing to eat than a child who's full on snacks or juices. Another strategy is to help let the kids help with the meal preparation. Whether it's letting them sit down and offer suggestions of what vegetable they want for dinner, or whether it's actually like mixing the ingredients and helping stir and prepare the, the meal itself. You definitely want to keep mealtime fun. Um, if you're working on vet, adding some vegetables into their diet, making a, a pizza and using veg, different types of vegetables to help make the face, or what kid doesn't like peanut butter and raisins, put that on a, a celery stick, and then it's a food that's a little bit more fun while still working on some of those targeted fruits and vegetables. Another thing is there are some fun little plates or placemats, kind of like this one, where you put foods in each one of the, the compartments and they kind of make their way through the game while they're eating. So just anything to help add a little bit of entertainment to that routine, that mealtime routine. You also want to give kids choices. If you ask them, do you want broccoli or green beans and let them pick, they feel like they have a little bit more control over what they're eating than just say, do you want broccoli? Because your answer is probably gonna be no. One of my other favorite things to offer or suggest to families is a tasting plate. You can get a plate like this at the dollar store. Um, I like it to have you know several different compartments to it. And you're gonna put different fruits, vegetables, crackers, dips, anything new or different into each one of the compartments. And you kind of pass this around the table and everyone in the family tastes some things um, and tries a few different things. You can talk about how the, the foods taste, how they smell, what they feel like just to kind of get them familiar with some new foods and it takes the pressure off of it's on your plate and you have to eat it. Another thing you always want to do is keep your expectations realistic. If you put a cup of peas on their plate, they're not gonna eat them. If they eat five peas, that's a huge victory and you need to celebrate that. The more you expose them to the foods, like every single day or every few days, the more comfortable they're gonna become with them. One last thing that I have found kids really like, and it really kind of gets them more comfortable with foods, is food play. And this is when you don't have the, the purpose or the mindset that they're going to eat these foods. You're just trying to get them to interact with the foods to become more comfortable with them. You might take a toothpick and have them see how many peas they can poke on that toothpick. Or you might give them a little sphere of broccoli and have them paint with ketchup using the broccoli. So the more comfortable they are and familiar they are with the foods, down the line, the more willing they will be to try it. Um, I am putting a link here in this post for you to access a document that I found very helpful. It has words that can help or hinder when you're talking about food. Uh, there are also several other really good resources at choosemyplate.org with different um, meal ideas, balanced nutrition, different activities for both kids and adults. So I suggest checking out that website as well. I hope some of these tips have been helpful and that I hope you are staying healthy and that I see you soon. Bye.